Hey YouTube land. I'm playing with the uh, idea of taking that um, what's that Orange County Chopper spider bike uh, Schwinn there and sticking some kind of motor on it. So I threw it up on a lift. Looks funny there. <laughs> but uh, I had this uh, little four cycle weed whacker. It's cool because you don't have to do any kind of premix to it. But I'm not sure what the output of, of it is. Probably not much. It's got to be under 50 cc's. But um, I'm thinking about taking that. It says down there. It just says assemble in Mexico. Got a Chinese parts. That's okay. The bike's Chinese. Anyway. So possibly that. Or I might go a little bit larger. I actually have some um, uh, the motors, the kicker motors that go on the, the front tire and they ride bicycles. Uh, a couple of antique bikes with those kind of setups. But I'm thinking I want to kind of get a little bit more schnod out of this one because those things are kind of slow. They, they do like 20, 22 miles an hour and I have a feeling that's going to do the same thing. So I, I might try going with um, like a Honda 6 horse, 5.5 horse. I have a couple of pressure washer motors that uh, I have out back. It's got to look and make sure that they have an idle circuit on the carbs. Kind of suck if they only run at one, one speed, you know. But that's one thing I'm playing with. Um, the other thing is um, it's moving day in the shed. Had another one of those uh, four-wheelers come in with the uh, with the belt light on and uh, did a reset on this one too. So she's ready to go. Customer's waiting to pick it up. Just had to swap back tires around. They were uh, on backwards. The direction was going the wrong way. But, I've been uh, playing around with the shed, and um, did a bunch of the woodwork on it, repaired all that, and now it's kind of moving in day. I should say it's a hiding day. Um, <laughs> the stuff that's closer to the garage that made a mess is uh, getting moved back here and hidden, so the front just looks better. But, as you can see, here's a card of uh, miscellaneous chit parts and blades and a little bit of this a little bit of that moped bicycle engines seats gas tank shocks etc but uh, I put the that roll-up door that I got from a friend in came out really nice it's like uh, just shy of five feet wide Let's see if I can reach it Hiya. it's those doors that are at the rental places yeah storage centers so uh, I tried getting doing the whole shed without spending a dime, but I actually ended up having to spend 30 bucks on wood. Just some trim pieces that I just didn't have enough of. But she's uh, all stable now. I installed uh, uh, some flashing on there just to keep the weather from kicking around. The pieces in front of piece of PT, so I'm not worried about that. And my idea is. Uh, I have a set of ramps, extra set of ramps. I'm just gonna leave back here. So anytime I need to load anything, I could either back the truck right in and the tailgate's gonna be level with it. So I can work off of it that way. Or uh, as I said, I'm just gonna blaze a, a path right through here and be able to put like four wheelers or whatever. I have a feeling it's gonna fill up with so much small stuff that uh, it's not even uh, gonna have room for that kind of thing anyway. Let's go put a light on. And uh, I added a shelf to the back, some slats in between it and enough room underneath so you can get like tractors and four wheelers tucked underneath but enough for like right here is uh, my engine collection that I'm starting to put up here and having the spacing in between the shaft all the verticals spacing between the boards all the verticals uh, shafts can stick in between but I'm thinking about maybe uh, dragging one of these motors back there's a Honda 5.0 off of something and uh, Here's a, uh, I think it's a Subaru or a Robin, yeah, which is a Honda clone uh, for that uh, that bike. But uh, got some, sh some shelves at a yard sale. Threw them against the wall. Starting to fill them in with miscellaneous crap. And uh, any of you guys that are uh, into the old Cub Cadets or International Harvesters, a neighbor, she oh, she's got to be in her 80s, and her her husband. At one time, they had a. Um, a Cub Cadet dealership and this is all just kind of stuff that was left over from the, the garage all new old stock just anything and everything you know seals with uh, all the IH stickers on them brackets filters and uh, there's um, 
complete engine gasket set there. Headlight pulleys, there's clutches in here. Just a little bit of everything, you know, all kinds of common wear. Tractor parts, there's a, a voltage regulator. Um, I don't even know what these are. These are the pivots, the pulleys for the decks. Um, again, probably from like 1970, right around there. And then they had a whole wall of belts, all new, new old stock. International Harvester belts from, I guess, all the tractors. So well, there's a good 40 or 50 of them up there. So if anybody needs any kind of hard to hard to get things, I might have something for you. Not that I'm organized, I can tell you what it is, but uh, there's a bunch of stuff here. So that's kind of shed moving in day. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the rest of it. I just kind of my idea was just to kind of put all power equipment and tractor stuff and parts and supplies maybe back in here and try to keep like an organized inventory of uh, uh, used stuff. Keep it out of the way. And then in the wintertime I can still kind of get back here. It's not like I have to go trudging back here and uh, digging something uh, out that I have to drag back. We usually make a path back to the house uh, for the dogs anyway. So I'll just make one to here. And that's the inside of the door. Just kind of framed it out and it back together again. And uh, I remember before all that was rotted out all the way around. So that those boards there were the boards that were in the center. And uh, again on that side too. I kind of ran out of wood. There's one piece that's a little punky up there. But uh, I'm not going to worry about it too bad. I have a four tubes of silicone. I'm just going to run around and you know, caulk all the joints. The moisture doesn't get behind those. But she's together in place, level, sturdy. Mama uh, volunteered to uh, paint it. What a sucker, huh? <laughs> I hate paint. I like putting stuff together, but painting, eh, I'm not that crazy about. Of course, she's got a little flower box for the front of the door, or the front of the window, rather. Just gotta cut some of the, the brush back on it. So that's her. Uh, hopefully do a, a follow-up video on the uh, soon to be, I don't know what you want to call it, moped, motorcycle. I'd like to get a nice, uh, a little bike motor, cool for that thing. Something that had like a training and a clutch, or even no clutch. Uh, like a three speed or four speed, like 125 cc's or so. Thing would screw. And then again, uh, I think in uh, New Hampshire you don't need a uh, to have pedals to have it a moped. It just has to be under uh, 50 cc, so to speak. So I don't know. I may just register it anyway and just say, yeah, it's 50 cc's or write 50 cc's right on the cover. See, that's what it says. Put a sticker on it. So keep tuned. See how we make out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.